we're not able to deal with all of the truth in one shot. Now, I want the truth. Uh, no, uh, actually, I can't accept it. If I'm going to understand how far I am, if I'm going to understand how, 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 how poor I am, if I'm going to understand how, how, many people I, I, how many people I hurt, how deep went the, my mistakes and, and destroyed uh, emotions, how many times I insulted people without intentions, without b being cruel or vicious, but, but found myself as one, if I'm just going to see all of my lackings in one shot, I won't be able to deal with it. So sometimes you need to do what did the Creator have done? But et Arza. You take the truth and you throw it down to the ground and you don't deal with all of it in one shot. And then Emet Meretz Titzmach. Slowly, slowly the truth will grow. And one step after the other you will connect yourself to the truth. And every day you can deal with another lacking, with another weakness that you have, another def defect, another default, another, pro another issue. And every day take here for yourself that mission to work on yourself, to come closer to the truth based on your abilities and not to take too much on yourself. And when we understand that, so we can understand that we can relax a little bit because the Creator, He is not expecting from you to be someone that you're not. Even though that He revealed His will, that you will be holy, that you will learn Torah, that you will live in the Holy Land, that you will and will and will, great. He revealed His will. But between the will to the level that we're holding, there is, there is a huge distance and we cannot lie to Hashem and to say, Yes, Hashem, I want to be holy, I want to be pure, I want to learn Torah, when I'm not. Because, okay, let's see, if you want to learn Torah, why the books are not open on your table? Why you're not memorizing Mishnayot while you're driving, while you're in the bus, while you're in the light train? Why, when you have five minutes, you open your phone instead of opening the books? So, say the truth, you don't really want to learn. You want to want to learn, maybe. Maybe you want to want to want to want to learn. Maybe. That's, uh, that's closer to the truth. So, as an honest person that really want to want the truth, say to Hashem, I want to want it. Can you please help me with my will that I will really want to learn? Instead of saying, Hashem, let me learn Torah. Someone is holding you from back from, from buying a small tiny book of Mishnayot and, and never take your eyes off of it. Someone is holding you back. No one. Just stop lying to yourself. That's the, ba that's the main thing. Let's stop lying to ourselves. And then when you stop lying to yourself, now you can talk about your weaknesses, about your lackings. Now you can say to Hashem, Hashem, you know, it's very hard. I'm finding myself that... Uh, I don't really want to learn so much, but I understand that I should. So can you help me with that? So that was a prayer of truth. A prayer of truth will be answered because Hashem is close to everyone that calls Him with truth. So you can lie to Hashem Yitbarach for years. Hashem, make me holy. Hashem, make me pure. Hashem, take me this. Hashem, take me there. Hashem, do this with me. Hashem, let me. And, and those prayers will not going to be answered. Because you're lying to yourself and you think you can pretend to be someone that you're not. But to Hashem Ibrahim, you cannot lie because when you open your mouth with lies, He's not there anymore. Because the Versh Karim cannot stand in front of Hashem. A liar person cannot stand in front of Hashem. Hashem is disgusting from, from, from liars, so He's running away. He's just going somewhere else. He's not accepting those lies, those fake prayers. But if you're going to come from a point of truth and say to Hashem, please help me. Please let me want you. Please let me feel you. Please let me feel that you love me. I think that if I'm going to feel that you love me, it's going to help me to want to learn your wisdom, means your Torah a little bit more. more. And those prayers will be answered. And then you're going to develop one step after the other. And it's going to be balanced. It's going to be according to your abilities. And then you're going to understand what that you're learning. And maybe what that you need to learn in the beginning is not Zohar and Midrashim. It's not the highest secrets of, of the wisdom of creation. Sefer Yetzirah, book of creation that's been uh, written by Avraham Avinu. No. Maybe you still need to learn how to listen to the voice of your wife. How to have patience with your children. 
how to behave to your friends in, in, in your company. Because it's better that you're going to learn those things than that you're going to imagine to yourself that you're so called, so to say, so to speak, so called Talmid Chacham already because you know Gmarot and you know Mishnayot and you know Zohar and you learn Midrashim already and you don't even take a shower every day. So you need to learn the things, the, the Aleph Bet, the, the basics, first of all. We need to start with the basics. And for one person, he really going to feel stupid when he's going to uh, realize how far he is, how low he is. But again, like we said before, the question is what you really desire. You really desire, your real will is to do the right thing, really to succeed, really to grow, really to connect yourself to Hashem, or that you want to be called a Talmid Chacham, a righteous man, you want the honor.